Hello 3E and welcome to your lesson on discounts and sale prices. Our goal today, I can calculate how much money I save when items are listed for sale and I know how to calculate the new price of the item. So talking about discounts and sale prices. Uh, often when you see items placed on sale, um, the, that means the prices have been reduced for one reason or another. Uh, either they're trying to entice people to come into the store for things like Christmas or they have too much inventory and they got to get rid of it or they have more inventory coming in um, and they want to make room for the new stuff so they'll reduce the prices on the stuff that's already there to give a huge discounted savings uh, to the people that come in or sometimes just small discounted savings uh, anyway when this happens discounts are often offered as a percentage uh, of the original price and sometimes they're offered as a fraction of the original price. So we're going to look at how to calculate um, the sale price in both um, instances. So we're starting with example one here. I have uh, an ad from a Canadian Tire Flyer where we have this set of luggage here. And notice it says uh, save 65%. So we got that 65% there that we're going to save. Uh, that means that we get 65% off. Of this luggage. So that's more than half the savings. Um, so we're not going to pay very much of the original price. Now let's take a look at the ad. Here's it says regular $169.99. So that is the original price $169.99 is the original price for all this luggage and we're going to get a 65% discount. So our, we're going to do this in two different ways. Our first method is to find how much you save and subtract it off the original price. So the discount is what you save. What you save. And to calculate the discount, we take the original price, which in this case is $169.99. and we times that by the discount rate. The discount rate is 65%, but remember, in order to use it, we have to change it to a decimal. So 65% as a decimal is 0 0.65. Um, what we have to do is with the decimal point used to be here, we move it back two spaces, or you can plug it into your calculator and divide by 100, and that changes it into a decimal for you. So 169, let's pull up the calculator. 169.99 and we're going to multiply that by 0.65 and this tells us that we are saving $110.49 so the discount is $110.49 now to find the sale price we need the original price $169.99 and we're going to subtract off the discount. That's how much we save. So to find out what we actually pay, we subtract it off. 110.49. That's a really big discount. 169.99 minus 110.49 is 59.50. That is one heck of a deal. 59.50 is what we're going to pay for that luggage that used to cost $169.99. So that is a really great deal. And this, by the way, is directly from a Canadian Tire Flyer. Uh, so let's just have a look here. This in the flyer, oh, it's not going to come up. Anyway, in the flyer, they usually actually calculate the sale price for you. So you don't have to make those calculations. Uh, but you should know how to, just in case you ever need to. Method number two, calculate the percent that you pay, then use that to find the sale price. Okay, so this one, this method is actually a little bit easier. So the sale, pri the sale price rate, so in other words, how much you pay. So when I say sale price rate, it's the percent paid. So if we get a discount of 65%, and between the discount and what we actually pay must add up to 100 because everything's out of 100%. So we take 100 and subtract 65. 
And if I take 100 and subtract 55, I get 35. So what you are paying, if you have get 65% off, you are actually only paying 35%. Now the sale price will equal the sale price rate, that 35% or 0 0.35, because we've got to divide by 100 in order to be able to use it. 0 0.35 and then times the original amount. Uh, the original amount was 169.99. So let's pull that up on the calculator. 169.99. Whoops, missed the decimal there. 169.99 times 0.35 equals 59.99. 50 when I round this off. And remember, when I'm rounding this off, I always round to the closest uh, decimal, or sorry, the closest cent, which is two decimal places. So I look at the next one. So I have to look at this 60, the 6 here. And it's bigger than 5, so anything 5 and bigger will bump this up. So it bumps that 49 up to a 50. So we get the same thing, $59.00 and 50 cents. Now this way is just a little bit um, less complicated. Uh, sometimes this is pretty easy to do in your head, whereas the two calculations up here aren't particularly easy to do in your head. So let's do a few more. Example number two, calculate the sale price of the hockey bag if the original price was $69.99. Well, if I'm paying, if I get 60% off, so we pay, uh, I'm getting 40% off, we pay 60% because 60 and 40 add up to 100. So if we have a discount of 40%, then we pay 60%. So the sale price will equal 60% uh, of the original. Now we're told that the original price was $69.99 and remember the 60% has to be divided by 100 to get 0 0.60 or just 0 0.6 uh, and we multiply by the original price $69.99. So 60% 0.6 times 69.99 is 41.99. So 41.99 is what we're going to pay. Now of course there's um, tax on top of that but we're not going to worry about that uh, for this lesson. We're just counting uh, the, or we're just finding the discount rate and the amount saved. Okay, so the next one. How much money, oops, missing a word there. How much money do you save if you buy this stool on sale? It says it's 75% off. It says the original price was $19.99. 75% off is huge. You like to get sales that are 75% off. Canadian Tire is pretty famous for those. Uh, in fact, I would never suggest to buy anything for regular price at Canadian Tire because the, as soon as you do, next week it's going to be on sale for 75% off. But anyway, I digress. Uh, so how much do you save? So here we want to know what the discount is. We don't want to know what the sale price is. We want to know how much we save. So we need the discount. To find the discount, we take the sale rate as a decimal, of course, and times by the uh, original price. So the original price uh, was $19.99 and the sale rate is 75% times nineteen ninety-nine. So how much do we save? We save 0.75 times 19.99 and we're going to round it to that decimal place there. If I'm rounding it to that decimal place there, 
I have to look at this one and since it's lower than 5, we don't change anything. So this is just $14.99. So $14.99. Now remember, this is not what I pay. This is what I save. So if I bought it for regular price and then somebody else bought it for the sale price, I would have paid $14.99 more for it when I bought it at regular price. So these are our savings. Okay, next one. Sometimes sales are given as a fraction. Calculate the sale price of the given computer. So this is one third off of this HP Pro and this is the regular price. So we're going to do a third off of this. So here's how we do it. We take the regular price, 728.99, 728.99, and we're going to multiply that by the fraction. The fraction here is one third. Now, how are we going to type that into the calculator? We're going to take this, multiply it by 1, which actually doesn't change anything, and divide it by 3. So you always multiply by the numerator, then divide by the denominator. Although in this case, it doesn't really matter uh, to multiply by the numerator because it's just 1. So all we're really doing is dividing by 3. Uh, but if there was something other than 1 in the numerator, if this said it was 2 thirds off, you would have to multiply by the numerator and then divide by the denominator. So 728.99 uh, divided by 3 is all we really have to do for this question. And then this looks like $243 because, once again, I want to round it to this number. But this 6 is bigger than 5, which bumps this to 10, which bumps this to 10, which bumps this to a 3. So $243 is our discount. $243. What is our sale price? Well, our sale price is our regular price, $728.99 minus $243. You can just plug that into your calculator. $728.99 subtract 243 is $485.99. So there is the sale price of the given computer. This is our savings. This is how much we save. So if we bought it one week at full price and then it went on sale the next week uh, at a third off, this is how much I paid too much for by not waiting for the sale. Okay, now the last thing, Coke is on sale at max on a buy one, get one at half price deal. If the regular price for a bottle of Coke is $2.69, what is the price for two? Well, the first one is $2.69, but the second one is only half of that. So we had to take half of that. So sale price, equals one-half times the original because this says it is buy one get one at half price. So I have to take a half and multiply that by two dollars and sixty-nine cents. Now there's a couple different ways you could plug this into the calculator. You could do one times two point six nine hit equals and then go divided by two and you get a dollar thirty-five because I have to round. This is five or more, so that's going to bump that to a five. So a dollar thirty-five. Um, the other way you could have punched it into the calculators. I hope everybody knows that a half is actually point five. So you could have put in point five times two dollars and sixty-nine cents, or you could just divide this by 2 because we're taking half of it so you gotta chop it in half so you could just divide it by 2 you're still gonna get a dollar thirty five okay so a dollar thirty five that's for the second bottle so that is the second bottle so our total price for two total for two is two dollars and sixty nine cents plus a dollar thirty five 
So 269, 269 plus, up, oh, I missed the decimal there. 269 plus a dollar 35 equals 404. And then of course there would be taxes on top of that, but we're not worrying about that for this lesson. So this lesson is finished.